these pieces of plastic film are actually the carrier sheets for HTV that is peeled off when the vinyl is heated and pressed onto the surface. In the past I've looked at these and thought there has to be something else I could use this for, it just seems such a waste throwing them away. So today I'll be making beautiful, reusable, free and easy stencils from this quite versatile material. After watching this, you'll never throw these pieces away again. So these are the pieces of scrap vinyl that I'm meaning. Um, and you can sort of see that the design is still etched into it and that's okay, that doesn't matter. So what I'm doing is taking the piece of carrier sheet instead of throwing it away, I'm using it again and I am actually sticking it down, the sticky side down onto the mat. So there's a sticky side and a smooth side. Put the sticky side down on the mat. I go into Canva and I just want to get some quite simple designs first because I actually hadn't tried this out before. This was the first time. I didn't know how it would go and what setting. So I thought I'll do something really simple, get some simple designs. I did this hibiscus flower and I did a leaf. I go into Cricut and I put it in there. I upload it and now I'm going into material settings to sort of see, suss out what I could cut it on. Plastic seems the obvious choice. Um, and I just click on cutting matte protector and I wanted to go into the settings just to see how strong the, the cut was and it seemed pretty deep. It was a 300 pressure and I clicked more instead of the default as well. And I let that cut out. So that was all done and it was only a little image, it didn't take long. I thought I'd peel it back just to see if it would separate and see if it had cut through completely. And I was pleasantly surprised because just by pulling it back, it actually weeded itself. The piece that was cut that I didn't want actually stayed stuck to the mat. And as I pulled, it just revealed the completely finished stencil and yeah, so um, that was a bit of a fluke. The first time I did it, it, it was perfect, a perfect cut. I thought I'd, I'd put, do the leaf now because that one was just a little bit more intricate. Same settings and I let that cut. I just pulled it off the same as I did the hibiscus and that worked as well too. This plastic film, you can get varying thicknesses. This one wasn't strong, but it's pretty durable and it doesn't tear easily at all. And, um, but I would still be careful, depending on what your design is like, I would still be careful and be pretty gentle when you're pulling it off. But as you can see, that cut out really well and really neatly. I thought now I would try something a little bit more intricate just to test it out and to see how it cuts. So I went back into Canva. I'm always going into Canva lately. Um, this was a really pretty design, so I thought I'd use this to um, cut out. I put that in Cricut uh, and cut that out again. Some things to consider though, um, or something to consider is not all patterns will cut properly. Um, they will like, cut, but they won't weed properly. So just be mindful of that. On this one, I only had a scrap piece of glitter carrier plastic. So this was from a glitter vinyl and you can see there's still a bit of glitter on it. This is actually a little bit stickier and a little bit thicker. It's not quite quite as flimsy. I mean, you can still see that it's pretty floppy, but it's not quite as flimsy as the normal, um, just a plain everyday HTV. So I wasn't sure if the settings that I used for the other would work on this, but it actually did. It worked really well and cut it out really 
um, smoothly. actually really satisfying seeing this pull off and the fact that the actual pieces you don't even want just sticks to the mat is really good because you're not weeding little intricate pieces it's just um, you're just peeling it back and it doesn't take long at all great like that but what will it be like when I actually stencil it and put the paint on it um, I wasn't sure whether it would bleed or or how how it would go so this um, the great thing about this carrier plastic too is that it is already sticky so it's like an adhesive stencil um, you can press down on it like I said this particular glitter one actually is a little bit stickier than the other one and so for the other one oh, there was something else I did to make it stick down but I'll tell you what that is as I get to it um, but this one I just pushed down it stuck really well and I'm using a roller I'm using a dark color just so that you can actually see and I can see too because this is the first time I've done it um, how cleanly it will stencil mm -hmm. so pleased with that it was a success <laughs> and that is lovely it's really clean and I just love stenciling it's really fascinating it's like a work of art that you could have put hours into that it takes you like a few seconds to do now this is the leaf one and this is a thinner um, carrier plastic sheet and you can see it's not sticking properly it keeps flicking up and also the little tiny divots where the leaves go aren't sitting flat and you might notice it a bit more when I actually roll it on so I really wasn't sure exactly how cleanly this would um, stencil but it wasn't too bad it wasn't too bad there is a little bit of um, roughness I guess around the edges it's not as clean as the other one but I'm gonna try something at the end of the video to see if it will make a difference to that so far, so good though. So these are the two different vinyls. This was the glitter um, plastic sheet that I was using, which is a bit thicker and more sturdy and stiffer and even stickier, I think. Um, so if you have that, that would be great. If not, I still use the the vinyl um, carrier, the plastic carrier sheet for the thin vinyl too, and that worked as well. As you will see coming up, I do a few more different designs. So this one, I, I wanted to go back into Canva and create, try to create a repetition design. So something that I could actually join together um, that would repeat if I had a longer panel. Um, so I made my design up with the lotus flower and I just um, downloaded that as transparent and I brought it back into Canva just so I could duplicate it and join it to see if it would join and stencil up nicely if I had to join it together and I cut that out this is a thinner vinyl thinner plastic uh, carrier sheet and it cut really really well here again it's more of a simple it's a simple design too so um, that's probably why 
Um, and this had a sticky back, but I am sticking it down anyway either side for a few reasons. One is to keep it in place. Another reason is if I uh, paint over it or roll over it, I'm not accidentally going over the edge and getting it on the drawer. Just making sure that all of the little um, bits are stuck down properly, properly, um, just so no paint will get underneath. Looking at this, I did put too much paint on the roller. Um, with stencils, it doesn't matter if they're a little bit transparent. I don't think they actually look cute like that and edgy and, and nice, and they still give a really good effect. They don't have to be solid. So I definitely, looking at that, did put too much paint on the roller. And you can sort of see it did bleed through in one of the little designs a little bit, but generally um, I'm really happy with that. It looks really pretty. I let it dry a little bit and I'm repeating it to make it flow and to see what that will look like. Also, I, this time I didn't actually stick it down and I'm using less paint on the roller. So the roller is quite dry, um, but it's just giving, um, it's just got enough on there to sort of paint through the actual stencil. You could do this, let it dry leave the stencil on and then go over it again if you did want a thicker, um, more solid color. And that's what I would recommend rather than going gung-ho and loading the roller and um, trying to get a solid print the very first time. But like I said before, I think the, the lighter um, roll is nice. It's pretty actually. And it just is, is as effective as the more solid color. step further <laughs> because everything's worked out so well I thought I'd really push the boundaries what's the worst that can happen um, and I did this intricate more intricate flower design so I have already cut it and now I'm just peeling it off the mat and we'll see how that goes and surprise surprise this is actually a success um, and you can see how intricate the cuts are here. This was cut on the same settings in the Cricut too. A few little bits didn't um, come out. They cut though, so I just had to go back and sort of push them out with the um, weeding tool, but it wasn't much at all. And because this is a thinner plastic carrier sheet, I thought I would put some spray adhesive on the back because it's more intricate you can see they're a little bit sort of sticking up and i didn't want anything sticking up and sort of flopping over when i rolled the paint on and that's why i'm doing this and this i have read before that you can do this with any type of stencil if it's not adhesive and it gives a really tacky um back to it so it will stick down flat on your surface and then you can just um, paint over it then and not worry too much about any bleed through. Stenciling is really so satisfying because it's like, I don't know, I think the stencils because they're reusable too, um, they're ultra budget friendly. Um, you can reuse them for different projects. And these, the great thing about these are they are reusable. What I do after I've used them and instead of just letting the paint dry on them, I'll actually soak them in a little tray 
and get all the paint off and especially with these more intricate patterns I think that's important just so it doesn't um, clog up any of the smaller holes and then I'll just put it between the towel and let it dry and pop it away uh, to be used again and this just <laughs> yeah it's so pretty um, this flower design I was so pleased with it. You can see a little bit of sticky residue there. It's the first time I've used the spray adhesive, so I do think that I oversprayed it. I don't think it needs to be that tacky or gluey, just enough um, so that it sticks to the actual surface. And because this paint is still wet here, I am just pushing it down with a little cloth um, so it's duck down again and going over it with the roller and this one too I designed to be um, a repetitive stencil that when it's joined up you're not going to see um, any discrepancy it will look like one flowing pattern So I, yeah, I was extra ultra really pleased and I'll be using um, all of these, I think, on my furniture makeovers. This one especially, I absolutely love and it's so pretty, I think. What I thought I would do, that was go back to the leaf. I never used the spray adhesive when I did the first one and it was just a little bit messy. So I'm going to try the spray adhesive and redo it and just see what difference it makes to the actual outline of the um, stencil if it's if it makes it neater if it doesn't make any difference or not much difference at all um, but it definitely does stick all the pieces down a lot better you don't have to roll too you can actually sponge and dab which could also help with bleed through and that sort of thing but yeah so that's with the adhesive and the one on the right without the adhesive sticking it down it's a lot neater as you can see I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. It was a success. I hope, hopefully after this, you'll never throw out your carrier plastic sheet scraps, scraps again. I certainly won't be. Have a great week and I'll see you guys on the next week. paint dry for too long. It actually dries pretty quickly, and yet at the same time, it's really, really easy to work with if you have to go over it again. Once you finish painting a panel, it's really good that way, but it doesn't take too long to dry. And now I'm starting to peel it off because I have no idea what's <laughs> going to happen and how it's going to.